So this time, we're going to look at an equation that's already been solved. It's a very common equation in physics. We're looking at velocity and how it relates to displacement of time. We have velocity equals displacement divided by time. And again, we have another equation where only variables. We still need to be able to analyze this and see how these things are related. What happens to velocity if I increase time? So again, I start with my good old velocity equals distance over time, what I have over there. And as we showed before, we can actually plug in some numbers and see. What happens to t, or what happens as t increases? Well, let's increase t. And for the first case, maybe we're going to say t equals 3. And we also pick an arbitrary number for d. Well, okay. Let's say d is 2. So, what do we get then? v equals 2 over 3. Which, if we punch it in our calculator, we'd see is 0.66666. It would keep going on forever. Great. So, we want to increase t. All right, let's make t 4 now. Just increase it a little. In that case, what is v? v equals 2 over 4, or 0.5. Okay, look at this. Well, 0.5 is smaller than 0.66666 forever, so v got smaller. I increased t, and v got smaller. Which actually makes sense when we look at the formula. Since t's on the bottom, these are what we call inversely proportional. That's the fancy word for it. It just means as t's getting bigger, v's got to get got to get smaller as long as d's staying the same. This number up here staying the same. We're dividing by a bigger and bigger number. That's going to get smaller and smaller. So that's how we analyze these two variables.